Hey everybody, it's Weezy of Mamba once again with another Evil Dead the Game content video. Today's video, we are um, going to go ahead and do our survivor tier list that we did live on stream a couple days ago. Um, if you guys haven't seen me on Twitch yet, I stream every day on Twitch, 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on. So definitely make sure to check me out um, over on the platform. Appreciate all the love and support. We just hit our 100th subscriber on YouTube. So I'm super grateful for you guys. Let's continue this train. Um, for a little update, I just recorded two videos. This will be the third video I'm recording today. We have um, officially um, recorded the best way to um, apply your threat level upgrades with each demon and apply your um, pink fuck upgrades with each survivor. So make sure to check those videos out if you're looking for that information. Um, this is going to be nice, short, and sweet. Um, little quick survivor tier list um, for you guys. Big shout out to Pixels um, over on YouTube for creating the tier maker list with Brock and awesome player portraits updated. This is by far the best Evil Dead the Game um, survivor tier list maker that we've had yet. So big shout out to Pixels. Make sure to check him out on YouTube every day streaming as well. And um, he creates content videos. He actually just posted a um, survivor tier list as well. I'm going to do one too, see if we kind of match up. Um, I haven't watched his yet, um, so I'm going to watch it afterwards. But let's get to it, y'all. All right. Um, I'm just going to go in order here. Um, as you guys can see, uh, this is the best way to go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and get rid of these extra tabs. <clears throat> um, obviously, if you guys have never seen a tier list before, it starts S tier is best tier, D tier is the worst. And we're gonna go straight down the line, all right? So, um, as far as uh, Amanda goes, um, she's an absolute unit. Um, I absolutely love her. Um, she is A tier for me, um, simply because her mastery kind of sucks and we all use Amanda um, with a blunderbuss or revolver um, or lever action in comparison to her actual standard base pistol. Um, the pistol just burns through ammo and doesn't do as much damage output even as a blunderbuss, the best weapon to use with Amanda is the blunderbuss, especially against the witch. Um, it's a pot destroyer um, as far as what her alts can do. A boss destroyer, she's super strong, got a billion dodges. You guys already know that Amanda is top tier, but not quite S tier for me just because of her mastery weapon and there's better hunters. Um, let's move on. Uh, David, um, absolute A or S tier uh, support for me. Um, dude's a, a unit when it comes to obviously being able to hold, you know, up to six and six. Um, has the fire, which not only drains energy from the unit, but reduces fear. And when you are in the fire, you take less damage. Um, I'm sorry. And when you're in the fire, you take, uh, are you, <laughs> when you're in the fire and a shemps is popped, it's, it's nuts, dude. How much he can do when he drinks a shemps, you take reduced damage. Um, David is total S tier support for me. Um, so definitely S tier. Um, he's not the best support. There's going to be a few here in the S tier section, so we'll continue on. Uh, as far as uh, Mia goes, she's going to be down here. She's easily the worst um, support, or sorry, warrior for me. Um, just the simple fact that she's an absolute crutch when it comes to fear possession, uh, wiping teams. Most people play her incorrectly. Um, they think since she has a machete uh, mastery weapon, um, that we have to use the machete. That's totally false. You always want to run Lumberjack Axe build with Mia or any form of two-handed weapon. That way you're not stun locking your teammates if you're possessed, um, such as, uh, I mean, shit. Even syringes you don't want to pick up with her, even though they're two-handed, quote unquote. But stuff like the sledgehammer, mace, and uh, Lumberjack Axe are gonna be your best bet for um, her because they are slower attack speed and you don't want her to fuck up your teammates, all right? Um, especially in the ball meta at the moment, she is just C tier for me, um, unfortunately, okay? Hunter Ash, uh, definite S tier, guys, and he's going to the top of the list, you already know. The absolute best hunter in the game um, has an exorcism ability, which um, allows you to just absolutely shred um, basic units from demons, especially on the book phase. Even without a ruby, you are getting two um, exorcisms. With a ruby, you get three. 
on the book phase. Um, essentially, if Hunter Ash is on the book phase with a ruby, you pretty much lose. Um, uh, clearly, with his double master, double barrel mastery weapon as well, it's one of the best ranged weapons in the game, um, especially for book phase. It's an absolute shredding um, weapon, um, and that is just how it is, man. So, uh, continuing on. Um, Ed, once again, he's going down to B tier, and I'll tell you why. Once again, Eddie, even though the loot is nice with Ed, when you choose an Ed, you guys get higher rarity chance of getting blues, purples, and legendary crates, but that already happens anyway. It already fucking happens. Um, with uh, survivor loot at the moment, still busted um, with the mastery weapons uh, bug. Um, same with the same weapon repeating itself in a match bug. Um, high rarities of each. For example, I played a, a Lord Arthur game yesterday. I found two blue swords, a purple sword, and a legendary sword. It's, there's a bug going on. I think Splatter Royale essentially broke that. Um, but as far as the hunters, um, I believe that um, Ed is the weakest of the bunch because his ability is very long time and it's very situational. Kelly, A tier. In fact, she's above Amanda, in my opinion, just because of her bleed. Kelly's bleed is going to be definitely amazing here um, because it helps kill boss units even faster. She has a really nice alt. If you need to get away, you can get up to 10 dodges, um, you know, 10 more dodges than you would expect from your standard five. Um, and she does obvious really good output damage uh, with ranged weapons, but she also has a second um, line for you. Uh, she has a melee weapon mastery with the meat hammer, so it just helps out a little bit better, for sure. Um, if you need to start meleeing or you're out of um, ammo at the book phase or something, you can rely on Kelly to use a meat hammer. Um, S tier, Annie, coming in hot, top tier. She's an absolute unit. Now that she's officially fixed again, she's out here buffing all of our hunters even more. Um, her balance bar, she buffs with everybody, let alone more warriors and supports. Annie is by far the third best leader out of the five, in my opinion, um, to be continued in more, uh, more later on the leaders. Um, so once again, that is my um, scenario here. She's just a unit. She's overall rounded out, really good player. Leader Ash, same thing. S tier, however, S tier as the best tier. Uh, leader Ash is by far the best uh, leader in the game, in my opinion. Um, dude is an absolute monster when it comes to dismemberment and um, popping El Jefe Grande. Um, his alt, when you have a chance to um, proc his um, ability um, and his aura that way you stay in his aura the fear five bug that's going on if you go fear five with leader ash and your team is near you the entire game you cannot be feared um, as long as you stay in his aura leader ash um, has four dodges melee damage you can build his tree the way you want to um, all leaders are essentially going to be up here so um, the only one that's different is lord arthur Lord Arthur is the weakest of the demons. He's going to go in the top of B tier. Uh, sorry, weakest of the leaders. Um, he's going to go in the top B tier just because he is a leader. Simple as that. He will buff your melee damage, but so will Leader Ash, and he'll also do way more. Um, Lord Arthur, uh, again, a sword mastery. Great that he can start with a sword, um, and that is essentially um, what helps him stay in B tier. Um, I hardly see him anymore, and I hardly use him. Uh, simple as that. Um, the best support in the game, hands down, is going to be Support Ash, and he's going right here, right in between. Okay? <clears throat> support Ash is the best support in the game, and um, you guys already know the reason why. I don't have to explain much about that. Um, just fear reduction, alternative healing. Healing has four different ways to heal, right? Amulets. Shemps, headshots, and heaviest swings. Dude is just top tier. Top tier. So, support Ash, best in the game. Cheryl, she's going right here as well. 
Um, the reason why I put her in top A tier simply is because um, I still feel David is more util utilizing with his fire than her uh, heal box. The heal box only what lasts five, six, seven seconds, something like that. It doesn't do a lot of healing outside of just kind of topping people off. Um, she's simply top A tier because she has uh, the ability to hold eight and six. Um, and it is what it is. Um, I just play her differently than most. I'll run a fast forward build um, or at least a melee build on her to kind of, um, you know, prevent from wasting ammo for my hunters. But top A tier for sure. She, she should really honestly be on this line. She's dang near bottom S tier, top A tier. Maybe by the end of the video, we'll kind of switch it up. Pablo, my moon. I'm so sorry, brother. C tier. Clearly the uh, second worst support, in my opinion. We'll get to the blacksmith shortly. Um, Pablo is C tier to me simply because he doesn't bring anything to the table outside of extra amulets for your, um, for your warriors. If he was completely immune to the demon powers possession, uh, demon powers and being seen in a car, even though it doesn't alert the demon that on screen and text form that Pablo entered a vehicle, he still the demon can still see Pablo in a car on the map if they watch the mini map and see a car moving, or if they see it in yellow. Demon powers has kind of essentially busted Pablo's main source of staying invisible. He's still a pain in the ass to deal with, um, but he's just not anything good outside of supplying amulets for your warriors. Let's move on to Warrior Ash, aka Army of Darkness Ash. Definite A tier for me. Um, and we're going to put him below Kelly. And I'm at, you know, we're going to put him at the uh, current bottom of A tier just because um, he is one of a, he's a really strong warrior. Um, however, he is not the best. Um, just survivability alone. Um, doesn't put out too much damage. If you run a chainsaw build, you're not going to have high damage. But if you're running a lumberjack axe build like you should be with all of your warriors, um, he should be okay. Um, he's definitely going to have the survivability, the shield pop. Wiseman's potion is definitely one of the best alts in the game. Um, but other than just being your crutch aka your clutch warrior you can put him in any comp and he'll be fine um he's still definitely a tier to me uh, just because of that um henry goes to b tier as well bottom b tier the worst warrior in my opinion he has um nothing else to the table outside of the resurrection um being able to res people um yes he has high balance bar high survivability he's just a pain in the ass um he's not really that good he's super fucking boring um, so again, I still put him B tier, uh, just because you can get more out of, um, uh, you can get more out of warrior ash. Um, and actually, I'm sorry. I said he was the worst. He's the second worst. You can get more out of warrior ash and Scotty than you can, um, with Henry. again. Um, and now the, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, the best survivor in the game, Mr. Scotty. He goes top ASS tier. Nobody's getting above him um, just because he's um, collateral damage. His, his ma weapon mastery is the best weapon in the game, the Lumberjack Axe. Um, his alts can clear units um, when you are being swarmed by Henrietta or Evil Ash or Ball. Anything on the book can cause um, knockback. It helps so much, and again, with his um, attack speed and his attack speed increase, with him being um, a Sky Lumberjack Axe Mastery, nobody touches Scotty in this game, period. Um, best survivor in the game. And now we get to the worst survivor in the game. The only one that's going in D tier, Mr. Blacksmith himself. Not only is he the worst support, but he's the worst survivor in the game, and he's the only one that's going to be in D tier. Um, considering most survivors are OP. As you can see at the moment, we have more S tiers than anything. Uh, that's pretty crazy to me. However, the reason why he's the worst is because it's RNG based on what he's actually going to craft. Um, RNG based to find the actual metal scraps. And he can't pick up a ranged weapon to depossess um, anybody with ranged weapons. Um, so um, unfortunately, he's susceptible to um, player possession. And 
he um always crafts dog shit weapons okay we're talking meat cleavers crossbows saw guns etc every once in a while you get a diamond to shine through but most of the time it's not um just stay far away from the blacksmith and the last two are going to be leaders clearly ruby she's going here um middle of s tier but again these are all essentially like your best comp you can run um is a mixture of these five people or these seven people if you want um you know my favorite comp to run period will always be scotty hunter ash leader ash and support ash that i think is going to be the best comp to ever win a match but you can also run scotty support ash ruby leader ash and just run a double leader build um it's pretty ratty but it is what it is that's how it goes and then brock um last but not least we all know why ruby's busted just because she still does cool down with everything um essentially so um but again the uh a tier for brock and he's gonna go in the middle of the pack once again he brings a lot to the table and being able to hold five champs five amulets and the possibility to hold up to eight matchbooks if you would like to be a troll um but um other than that he's got insane balance bar his fucking alt is very similar to henry's he can still take damage while rezzing um he just can't be knocked back and get in cars you guys just do your research on brock he's just a pain in the ass to deal with um super good but the fact that he's a leader will automatically give him um a to s tier status on all like the other leaders as well um leader ash um uh, ruby and annie are the s tier leaders for you and then this is the rat so that's how it rounds out ladies and gentlemen that is my personal opinion of the best uh survivor tier list for you guys um so i appreciate that um let me know in the comment section did i nail it on your favorite did i do your favorite dirty um did i get everything right wrong similar um either way it's all opinionated guys if you're a blacksmith main and you think he's god's gift to earth more power to you now, you know i'm not hating on anybody for picking who they like to play so uh this is just my personal opinion um so once again i appreciate all the love and support here on youtube over on twitch as well once again don't forget 4 a.m pacific standard time every morning i am live make sure to catch me tomorrow and every other day for the week so i appreciate you guys y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.